What's up, Indy 11 fans? I'm Ian Gilmore. This is the first team report. Now, I can think of three reasons why this weekend was a good one. A Brian Reby on match winner, a clean sheet for the side, and a 1-0 away win to wrap up the month of March. You've seen the highlights, so let's take a look at the celebrations with the players and the fans right after the final whistle. So what do do all Yeah, you know, it, we, I heard them throughout the game, but I actually heard them more when I watched the game back. Um, I heard a lot of our fans singing from the from the camera that we watched the game through. Um, so that was fantastic. So they were there, they had our backs all the whole time in the wind and the rain and the snow. Um, they were there pushing us. We're so glad we could get the three points for them. Um, give them something to cheer about, give them something to smile about and feel happy about. You know, when they travel that far, and there was a, a lot of them. Uh, we want to make sure we give them those moments more often than not this season. This weekend is the one you've been anticipating. It's finally time for our home opener. We want you at the mic when the Las Vegas Lights fly into town to try their luck. Here's the gaffer to preview that matchup for us. I mean, they've had a good start to the season. A um, couple of draws, I think, at RGV and then at Orange County, which are not easy places to go. So. They've started the season well, obviously a lot of turnover, like you said, they're going to start building their own identity now, I guess, because they've always been, a, well, the last few years been a feeder team to LAFC and not been able to kind of create their own thing. So they're going to create their own identity on the field. And right now it looks like they're pretty compact, pretty organized. Um, so it'll be a difficult opposition. They're going to want to come and spoil our party, just like we went to Detroit and wanted to spoil the party there. We know they're coming to India to try and spoil our homecoming. We need to make sure that doesn't happen. We need to, to, to keep our standards high keep pushing the guys to get better a commitment to each other um, the guys have set a standard for themselves now in these first two games of, of what it can look like and what it should look like every game so their, their objective now is to make sure that we bring that to, to the mic on Saturday and we provide that level of quality and that level of control to the game and go get the three points when we step onto the pitch on Saturday local lad Cam Lindley will be right back in familiar territory not only will the Carmel native be back in front of the hometown fans but also in front of his friends and family yeah I know it's always a little bit bigger right when you're from from the certain areas so for me it's awesome uh, to have not only my wife and you know my firstborn at the game uh, but to have extended family mom dad grand, you know it's just gonna be pretty cool uh, it's it's a little bit different than last time I was here because we were, it was a COVID year. So we're really going to be able to pack the place, see all the fans. Uh, there's a lot of emotions, and uh, hopefully we deliver. Did you play at Carroll at all growing up, high school? We did. Uh, we played some academy games there. So it's kind of unique to be going back and playing on a lot bigger stage, obviously. Um, but I'm familiar with the with the ground. So any good memories? Oh uh, yeah, lots of goals. Shocking, I know, to the fans. Scored a lot of goals in that, uh, but lots of wins. Uh, really true development as a player on that field. So to be able to put everything together, um, just cannot wait for Saturday. Don't miss out on the fun of being there in person on Saturday. You're not going to want to miss it. So get your tickets right now. Indy11.com slash tickets. It's time.